Welcome back to the Adventures of Link So the Night Cats. Jump it, jump it, jump. Oh, look, it's our old friend, the Arctic Fox. Here with his Arctic socks in a box. We're here up on the mountain, and we are continuing the, the vampire storyline. We've got to find uh, one of these Moth Priest daggers to try and use a Moth Priest ritual to be able to understand what the hell is going on in these... Elder Scrolls, and the place we need to head it should be right around here somewhere. So this is my house right here, Lakeview Manor, and so coming over here was uh, not too long of a hike. Killed a few bandits on the way. Find a Moth Priest's Kneef. Okay, let's do a little quick save. Should be right around here. Oh, Ancestor Glade discovered. That's where we need to go. Oh, there's somebody here. Who this? Should we pickpocket them? I think we should. Oh, it's Serana. I hope we reach Ancestor Glade soon. Where did you come from? I told you to wait. Gah. All right, so I guess this dumb chick is following us again. I cannot wait to be rid of her. <laughs> I hate companions so much. They're, they're just not conducive hmm. to a sneaky not lifestyle. Shut up! up being a wasted trip, your friend Dexy and I are Shut up! This episode may be a little short. My my hard drive is actually kind of full. Yeah, it, but it, really, it all depends on how long this happens to take. Might be a short episode, maybe not. We will see. Let's see. Oh! Yeah, what were you saying? Not very impressive. Look at this. Whoa. Yeah. Look at this place. Yeah, you need to shut no the hell up. You I need to shut the hell like up. Saying this place isn't. It's Ooh, butterfly. 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 Can I catch him? Butterfly in the air. Okay. Um. Let's see. What do we have here? We've got some waterfalls. We've got some rocks. Some steps leading up that way. What does the quest marker say? Go down here. Let's just follow the quest marker. Oh, is this going to burn me? Ow! Ooh! Ah! Ooh! Ah! Ooh! We've got our new Daedric bow. And our new Daedric daggers. Newly acquired. Activate draw knife! Well, we got the knife. Now all we need to do is track down one of those canticle trees. Gather bark from a canticle tree. This guy. Here we go. Gonna summon some ancient moth monster. I bet. There's no way we get out of here without some kind of fight. Ah, here we go. Okay, attract ancestor moth swarms. Look at them. They've definitely taken a liking to you. So what do we have to do? Just get close to them. You're starting to glimmer. Starting to glimmer. Like more than my normal animal magnetism. Heightened by my vampire Looks paleness. Like right okay, so I guess we just have to walk up to them and they'll bounce onto us. There's two. Okay. Okay, flowers. Okay. There's three. Easy peasy. Yellow mountain flower added. Dragon's tongue. There's some more. There's four. And five. I think. Yep, there's five. Okay, okay. Stuck on the rock. Five. Where is number six? Do we, it's hard to... It's hard to see with so many moths flying around my head. Let's just walk up this pathway. They seem to be basically all over. I know I saw some around this side. Ooh, dragon's tongue! I saw some right over here. I think. Where are you? It's hard to it's hard to see them now because there's so many flying in front of my face. Yes, there are some down here. Okay, six. Okay, one more. Is this the, I think this is the way we came in, possibly. It all sort of looks the same. Jump it, jump. Jump, jump it, jump. Let's go up the stairs. Here's another one. Okay, that's number seven. Now what? We did that. Oh, I heard voices. 
Enter the column of light and read the Elder Scroll of Blood. Ow! Leave me- ow! Go away! Go back to your vampire castle. Nobody likes you. I don't, I don't really mind her, but I just don't like companions. They get in the way. Alright, let's read this boyo. And what I do, just open my inventory. Elder Scroll Blood. Oh! It's she! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm tripping! Oh! Somebody passed me some spiked weed! Oh my god! What's going? This crazy! <laughs> I don't know what any of this means, so something's not working. Whoa! Oh, is it a map? What is it? Symbols? There's a like a ram's head, I guess, something like that. And then a daedra in the top right. What does it mean? Are you okay? I almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. Oh! Um, oops, no, that's not it. Speak to Serana. Okay. Tell me what all that Are you happened. Okay? What happened? I almost thought I lost you there. Yeah, you said that already. You went as white as the snow. Uh, that felt very strange. You looked about a thousand leagues away. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? It's in a place called Darkfall Cave. Dark. We can finally rewrite the prophecy as we see fit. Yeah. Where is this Darkfall Cave? Uh, the scrolls gave me its exact going. location. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Okay. Um, what do you know about this bow? If you read any history, it shows up from time to time, but it's a hard thing to track. As far as I know, though, it's never been held by a vampire. That would be a new one. Oh, yeah. What does it have to do with the sun? Ariel is one of the elven gods. He's with the rest of them in Aetherius. The way I've heard it, the sun represents the connection from our world to theirs. Supposedly, the bow draws its energy from the sun itself, which is why it shows up in that prophecy. What did it do? In that part, I don't know. Once we have it, hopefully it'll be obvious. Okay. Okay. Um... Somebody just drew a weapon. Did you hear that? Somebody just shot an arrow. Where'd you come from? Whoa! Dawn Guard! Suck it, Dawn Guard! You know what this calls for. This calls for... Summon Dernavir. Come help me out, Derny! Oh, a troll! Yeah, we need help, Derny. Where you at? Did you come? Maybe we have to be outside to do that? Oh. You did. Oh, hi, down guard. What are you doing? Get out of the- I can't get out of the water, I'm stuck! Yeah, yeah! That's right, new bow. Eggs Benedict right up in ya. What is hitting me? There's definitely a body in here. I would like my arrows back. Thank you. Their gear really sucks. I have to say. Oh! Looks like she resurrectorized one of them. Oh, you want to try and shoot stuff with me? Hey, oh. She's bleeding. You're on fire. Not in a good way. Hey, oh, oh, yep, you're missing. And I'm not. Well, <laughs> I'm not missing much. Okay, give me my arrows back. Are they all dead yet? Gold? I don't, oh, oh no. There are still red dots and scary, oh, okay, I think that was it. Is that it? Are we done? Let's see, crappy stuff. Okay. Yeah, but I'll take the lockpick. Get it down while we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well I guess we can't have Derny here. Whoosh! So I can do that, for sure. You didn't like that? Here, right up in your face. Right up in your face. Yeah. Okay. Um, are they all dead yet? I have to think. They must all be dead. I killed a lot of them.
And we should be fairly close to Darkfall. Dark, Darkfall? Darkfall Cave? Darkfall Cave. We are we are very close to Darkfall Cave. We're here at. We have arrived at Darkfall Cave. Let's enter sneakily. You hear me? Sneakily. No giving away our position unless I say so. Okay. Into the cave we go. We go into the cave we go. We go locating Oreos bow. Hey oh hey. Path there, which maybe that's the backtrack. The way we come out. If we don't run into that through normal exploration, I guess we'll check it out later. Oh, looky, here we go. I spoke too soon. <laughs> there it is, right there. And I wonder if there's anything under the water. Oh, oh, oh. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Nothing at all. <gasps> okay. So, okay. Let's dash around here, then we shall resume sneaking. The location of Oriole's bow soon to be discovered. Actually, we, oh, that's a spider. It's not Phil. It's a spider. Hey, spider. Venom, I don't really ever use... Uh, you know what, I have a ton of those anyway. I don't ever use the... Venom or poison on my weapons. I probably should more often. If the game was, like, hard enough to require it, I might. But it's not. It's just an extra detail. I never really added to my... to my arsenal of... go-to techniques and methods. Is that, is that someone leaning down over there? Am I seeing it wrong? There is a vein of something. something. No? Oh no, okay, I was seeing it wrong. It's just details in the rocks. Uh, so we came across here. Where, where would we go? Did we pass it? Maybe we have to, oh. I bet we have to jump down there. But first, Moonstone! I'm digging on the moonstone. Ah, mining <laughs> in the cave. Oh yeah, thanks. Just don't mind me. Personal space and all. She, she, I guess she's old enough, and she comes from a different culture, where they had different ideas of personal space. Are we supposed to jump down into that? What's our journal say? Locate Oriole's bow, known in a place as Dark Fall Cave. Dark Fall. Okay, well, Dark Fall. It's fairly dark in here. I guess we'll fall. Oh, oh, it's fast. No, I want to explore. I want to explore in the water. I guess we're not going to have the chance. But I, I'd say this is definitely what we were supposed to do. Oh, spiders! Hi, spiders. That's a lot of spiders. Whoa, still going. Is she with us? Is she gum? Is... Whoa! I can't see you. Okay, you know what? Um, where is my... Do I have it favorited? I'm looking for my racial ability to make it bright. Night Eye. I don't have it favorited. So let's see, night eye, night eye, night eye. Okay. There we go. Now I can see. I barely ever use this. Because it's just not necessary through most of the game. It's nice to actually get to use your racial ability for once in a Once, uh. And this racial ability is actually the reason I originally picked here. Khajiit yeah. as my race. Because they could see in the dark. Which was, ex oops, which was extremely useful in uh, Morrowind. And I just, I've, I've stuck with Khajiits ever since. It's not as nearly as useful in uh, this game, where most of the caves are lit. To make it, I guess, to make it feel a little more cinematic. Where you at? 
Stand still. You did. Is there another one? I thought I. Saw. Oh, there's a this, this. Ah, spiders. Oh, you resurrect. Okay, it wasn't Phil. If it was a giant spider like Phil, I might feel bad, but I don't feel bad about that. Hopefully, we get another one of those. We can we can have Phil the second or Phil Junior. Yeah, Phil Junior. I suspect my night eye is about to run out. Oh! Oh man, I'm so good. So good! Let's do it again. As long as we're gonna be in a cave. Might as well use. Might as well use it. Okay, looks like we have thinned out the spiders for now. What's down here? A torch? So somebody's been here. If there's a lit torch, it's not just monsters down here. So maybe somebody got here ahead of us, and we're gonna have to fight them for the bow. Look at that. That looks like a trap or something that was sprung. Oh, okay. Night Eye, go away. What do we have here? Search Breton. Darkfall Cave Note! Alright, let's read the Dark Fall Cave note. Sister, I know that you'll come find me, but it will be too late. If you find this letter, get out of this forsaken cave as soon as possible. Uh, I am now cornered, and it's only a matter of time. Farewell, dear sister. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, very tragic. I can tell you exactly what happened to them. If she's wondering. Roll a firestorm. Oh no, I don't want those steel bolts. Oh no. I don't. What did I just pick up that I don't want? Oh, I've already forgotten. It's popped out of my head. Whenever I play Links of the Nightcat, I become very like impulsive, and it's hard. For, it's very easy. Oh, the steel bolts. It's like I get into character automatically. Oh. Why would anyone want to set up camp here? I don't know. Ooh, more loot. Is this fire? Coin purse with 23 gold in it. Cure poison. Man, a satchel. Whoa! Okay. Um, you know what? Three times a charm. Because this is an actual dark cave. For once in the game. What's this gonna do? It opened something. What did you. Oh, you opened this. Or is this. No, there's a. Is that the way we came or not? No, we came up here. It opened this. There's a tripwire there, which she will trigger. I'm going to look up here first. Uh, I'm just going to assume that because we opened that path, that's the way we got to go. And the quest arrow is kind of pointing that way, too. So I want to see what awaits us up here. Nothing. Okay, let's head this way. Whoa. Whoa. Oh boy. Okay. Well, we're leading ever upwards. What did I just say? Hanging moss. I'll take that. Bleeding crown. Is this the way out? This may be the way out. Where have we come? Oh! I remember this. This is where we killed that first spider. Okay, so this is the way out. Lovely. So let's head back down. We'll just take the short way. And then we'll head down that path uh, that we opened this way. Do a little sprint sprint. Okay, right here. And I think I can... I should be able to defuse these little trip wires so she doesn't trigger them. Did you come? Yeah, whatever. She'll catch up. Night vision, ho! Now, why there's no way to defuse those, I will never know. That is freaking silly. What's the point of being able to... Ah, whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, good! Serana took damage. Suck it! <laughs> okay. Deeper and deeper into the cave. See, do these go the same way? 
Somebody spilled their bridge here. I think they, yeah, they do go the same way. Yeah, they meet up right here. Oh look, more cave. Well, we've dug into the cave. We're now into more cave, I think. What's that just ahead? Oh, it is cave. We have cave ahead. Oh, this is different. We have some water. I don't like the look of this, probably because you can't see. Oh no, you're a vampire. Trolls. Now, I'm a vampire, and I can't see particularly well in the dark without using night vision, so I'm assuming she can't either. Which is odd that a vampire doesn't have automatic night vision. Maybe she's just not using it. I don't know. But there are definitely trolls that I'm gonna murder right in their face. You know what? No, no. Don't attack him. We're gonna deliver him a special order of biscuits and gravy. Turn the other way. No, they don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Suck it! Troll resisted, paralyzed, but you got snuck attacked on for 15x. That's what you get. Flawless sapphire for my gem tray. Gold diamond necklace. Man, score. Look at all that. And troll. Empty troll. Anything on this body? Bloody rags. No, thank you. Oh god. Don't attack him until I can backstab him. Hey <laughs> You got snucked up on, son! Snucked up on, troll fat, thank you. Night vision po. Okay. Well, we killed the trolls. Trolls aren't really a threat anymore. Remember how scary they were when we started? They were terrifying. They were basically invincible because of the way they regenerate health. I, I mean, I really couldn't fight them at all. I had just had to just run. So where are we going? This way? Oh, did we come in there? And the trolls were there. Now we need to go this way, maybe? I don't know. Where are we? We are here. Did we miss something? We came through here. Maybe we need to go over here. That seems likely. I must have missed something. I don't see any doors there. Over here to the left, there may be some... Oh! Oh, look at this. Look at that. There's a dude over there. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, no! Who is it? Is that someone... Is that a guard guarding Oriole's bow? Maybe... Oh, he's got a... It might be Harkon. Okay, let's go back to normal Come vision. Forward. Gelibor. You have nothing to fear here. Oh. Hi, Ge Hello, Gelibor. Okay, don't move. I want to look around for a second. Then we'll talk to you. Shrine of Oreo. He's probably going to ask us some... Some questions proving our worth. Are we worthy of the Blade of Oreo? I bet he's some sort of... Ageless guardian. A faithful defender. I don't see a lot here. Oh, it must be in. Look at this thing. Check this out. I bet this thing opens up. I see a lot of hinges and and creases and stuff. Okay, let's talk to him. What do you have to tell us? Knight Paladin Gelibor? I am Knight Paladin Gelibor. Are you? Welcome to the Great Chantry of Oriel. Hello. This cave is a temple. Oriel, Oriel, Halkosh, Akatosh, so many different names for the Sovereign of the Snow Elves. Hmm. Snow Elves, you're a farmer? I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falmer usually holds a I negative... I thought all the Falmer were dead! Or the Snow Elves. creatures you call Falmer, I call the Betrayed. I did not know there were Snow Elves still alive! This is actually kinda cool! Of course. You're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? To meet the last I Snow Elf! Get it. But first, I must have your assistance. I met the last Dwemer in Morrowind. Um, oh great. Uh, what type of assistance? I need to kill Archcurate Vertha. Who the hell is that? Your bro- oh, your brother. Why? The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become. 
but he's no longer the brother I once knew. Uh -huh. It was the betrayed. They did something to him. Great. I just don't know why Oriel would allow this to happen. Oriel. What exactly did he they do? They swept into the Chantry without warning and began killing everyone without pause. What's pause on pause have to do with this? The Chantry was a place of peaceful worship. I led a small group of paladins, but we were no match for the betrayed's sheer numbers. They slaughtered everyone and stormed the inner sanctum where I believe they corrupted Vertha. Uh huh. He's alive. I've seen him, but something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches, as though waiting. Have you tried to get into the inner sanctum? Leaving the way shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a knight paladin of Oriel. And an assault on the betrayed guarding the inner sanctum would only end with my death. Okay, way shrine? Question mark? Yes, let me show you. Was it that thing over there? I bet it is. Open it up. Make it spin. Make it whirl and twirl. By the minds of Oh! Okay, it, it gonged. Oh, oh, I didn't expect to do that. This cool. structure is known as a way shrine. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Sweet! The relics of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signified? Once the initiate completed his mantras, He'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin of the Way Shrine center and proceed to the next Way Shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the Arch Curate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, <laughs> let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and play Mario's bow. I know how it all sounds. But if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. How old are you, dude? The only dude? way to get to my brother is by following in the Initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. Okay, how many more? There are five in total, oh, of course. spread far apart across the Chantry. Okay. Caves? Oh no. The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. But before uh -huh. I send you on your way, you'll need the Initiate's Ewer. Okay. And there it is added. Once you've located a Way Shrine, there'll be a spectral prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the shrine's basin as if you've been enlightened. What do you mean as if? This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. Hmm. All right. Well, that's Question. this is very interesting. I, I kind of was much. not expecting to run into a snow elf who wasn't crazy and blind and trying to murder us in the Questions. dark. I expected as much. Huh. You kind of look like um what's the guy that was in uh, uh Clockwork Orange? I expected as much. Roddy McDowell. Something McDowell. You look like him or he looked like you. Anyway, Questions. we're going to Okay, shut up. I expected as much. We're going to continue this next time. We will go through the, the Chantry Portal Shrine Teleportation Subterranean Elevator thingy next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you later. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.